Johnny in love with my drip, yeah. I get that drip, you get drip, yeah. 220 on Hip-hop has always been full of rappers with unusual flows, and Atlanta's Playboy Cardi is no stranger to these unique methods, thanks to his signature baby voice. Artists that I fuck with don't sound like me. Shit, sounding like me getting you signed, shit, rated a 10. But you want to be friends with me, show me something new. Cardi's recent features on songs like Tyler the Creator's Earthquake and Solange's Almeida, along with a number of leaked tracks, are just a few of his latest baby voice highlights. To find out more about what his voice really means for music, we spoke to Dr. Sharice King, a postdoctoral scholar at the University of Chicago, who told us there's more to Cardi's baby voice than meets the ears. If I'm a tough rapper, I'm not using a deep voice anymore to do it. I'm gonna use this kind of voice, this baby voice, and totally like redefine the landscape for you know what <laughs> hip hop looks like from this vantage point. According to Dr. King, Playboy Cardi's baby voice is what's known in linguistics as a semiotic resource. People put together different kinds of linguistic features in order to portray particular kinds of identities or personae, different kinds of rap persona. Cardi's been using this sound long before 2019. One of his earliest uses was back in 2017 in his verse on the ASAP mob cut, Blow In Mind. Lay a nigga down, ooh, lay him down. Ooh, I'ma hit that bit with a hundred round. In 2018, we heard his trademark sound all over his debut studio album, Die Lit, most notably on classics like Flatbed Freestyle. The way he plays around with pitch, the way he does things like what we would call in linguistics, such as consonant cluster reduction. So that's when you have words like find, produce as fine without the D, and you reduce that consonant cluster. Hitting the boy to find, they need nourish me. According to Dr. King, Cardi switching his voice up on his songs is also another way he changes the messages to his listeners. Your voice is akin to your clothes. We wear different things in order to signal different aspects of our identity or a different uh, maybe personality traits about ourselves without having to actually say these things. Over the course of 2018, Cardi pulled out the baby voice on a number of other tracks, like in July for his feature on Chief Keef's Uh Uh. And later that year, Cardi hopped on Lil Yachty's Get Dripped for yet another baby voice verse. I'm in there, bitch, with me. Recently leaked tracks like Pissy Pamper slash Kid Cudi and Cancun brought the discussion of Cardi's baby voice back onto social media. And as it stands, it's one of his most recognizable traits. I think that it's using those kinds of features in order to contribute to the song's performance. And if his features and leaks are any indication, Dr. King says Playboy Cardi's singular sound is exactly what makes him stand out in the game. Listeners of younger generations want to be subversive. They want to be different. They want to be heard differently. And they might feel as if this kind of performance maps to that desire. Good music will always speak for mm -hmm. itself. And there's a lot of people out there like me who are always looking for like the next. And you know what I'm saying? Somebody's going to find it. I'm Tia with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Let me hear it.